Majesty the Queen, followed by the three royal colonels and the master of the horse just behind you can see in the white cocked hat. Leading the whole procession is the Brigade Major, Lieutenant Colonel Tom Fitzalan Howard, who commanded the 1st Battalion Scots Guards last year. As I was saying, he's almost sort of swapped places with the field officer. And he is the son of the Colonel of the Lifeguards, General Lord Michael Fitzalan Howard, who we'll see a little later on the dais beside the Queen. And it is the Brigade Major's job, with the four troopers of the Lifeguards immediately behind him, to ensure that the whole procession arrives on horse guards at a ra exactly the right time. The massed mounted bands in their splendid gold tunics play the traditional cavalry march Prio Bajetsky. Escort. And there the head coachman who's new this year, Colin Henderson, in that magnificent state postillion jacket. They cost several thousand pounds. I asked him if he'd be getting a new one and he said he didn't think so. Some of them are one over a hundred years old in the Royal Mews. He actually was uh, in the Blues and Royals. He was on this birthday parade the last time in 1970. He was a corporal of horse rode many times in the Blues and Royals. And now, 25 years later, he is, for the very first time, driving Her Majesty the Queen. Behind Her Majesty, the three colonels in the centre his Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, Colonel of the Grenadier Guards. On his right, His Royal Highness the Duke of Kent, Colonel of the Scots Guards, who reviewed this parade on the second rehearsal last week. And on the left of the picture, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales, Colonel of the Welsh Guards. The only Royal Colonel missing this year is the Colonel of the Irish Guards, the Grand Duke Prince John, the Grand Duke of Luxembourg, who's away on other duties. Once the Queen is safely on the dais, she'll be greeted by a royal salute. 